first thing you need to do, and it's so simple, but it's going to blow your mind. But I promise that this lays the foundation for every business decision that you're going to make going forward. I want to seem a little bit bonkers and irrational, but just bear with me. Would you like to have a steady stream of new customers just ready and waiting to buy your new product or service? If so, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you this five step strategy that anyone can start implementing today that is guaranteed to grow your business. This strategy is based off my own experience working as a freelance website developer, where I saw my customers with lovely, fancy new website, but still struggling to find their customers. Before we get into it though, does any of this sound like you? I really love just a few more customers every month. I love to be making just a little bit more money. I wish I had the skills to make my own videos. If so, then you're not alone. The first thing you need to do, and it's so simple, but it's gonna blow your mind, but it has the potential to scale your business. And the first thing we need to do then is we need to reframe our focus. Because how many times in the last few minutes did I say the word, I, I want this, I want that, I can't do this. You need to reframe your focus from you, the business owner, to your customers. Stop worrying about what you can't do. What is your customers worrying about? What is their biggest pain point? What are they struggling with today that you can help them with? And you need to do a little bit of work at this stage. But I promise that this lays the foundation for every business decision that you're going to make going forward. In order to reframe your focus onto your customer, you're going to need to know a few things. Firstly, you're going to need to know who your ideal audience are. And I'm going to assume you have a clear idea of who that is. But the next thing you need to know is you need to know what is the biggest thing that they're struggling with? How can you best serve that person? Is that through a digital product or a physical product? Or perhaps it's working one-to-one -one with you. The next thing we need to figure out is how do they currently search for solutions to the problems that they have? Are they going on Google and searching for the answer? Are they joining Facebook groups or are they attending live in-person networking events? And the last step then is absolutely essential because it will help you fill in any of the blanks that you might have had from the past four steps. And this is where can you start interacting with your customers right now today? Because then you can ask them one to one, what are the what is the biggest thing that you're struggling with right now? What product do you think would help you with that? And you can ask them, where do they currently look for the solutions to their problems? So this will really help us understand our audience at a deeper level. Step two then, and this is about creating a product, not that we think a customer wants, but a product that our customer absolutely essentially needs today and they're willing to pay you any amount of money for. Then our next step, step three, and this is going to seem a little bit bonkers and irrational, but just bear with me. You're going to create that product and you're going to give it to them for free. What I mean is so you have all this information about your audience and you know what they really want to solve their problem. I want you to create a digital version of that product. Something like an ebook or a short online course or a PDF that they can download. Something that you can put together in a fairly small time frame and deliver instantly to your customers. If you'd like to know a really easy way of putting together an ebook or a PDF, then consider subscribing to my channel because I have a few videos coming up now that will show you how to do just that. So the next thing we do with our digital product is we want to offer that to our customers in exchange for their email address. And all you're going to need for that is a simple email service provider and a landing page. So something you don't even need to pay for now, something like MailChimp's free plan. And your landing page, you want to describe the benefits of the product that you've created and how it helps solve your customer's problems. So now you have your lead generator, and this is gonna help establish some authority so that people know that you know what you're talking about. And they should be absolutely blown away by the fact that you're offering this to them for free. Step four then is how do we get our product in front of our customers so they will sign up? So for this, we wanna look back on the previous questions that we were asking about where our customers go to find the solutions to their problems. And we simply wanna put our product where they're currently looking for it. So are they going onto Google and searching for it? If so, then perhaps we want to consider running Google Ads. Are they joining Facebook groups? Then perhaps we can join some of these groups as well. Are they joining live in-person events? Perhaps you can consider running some kind of webinar. And over time, you're going to start building an email list of warm leads. People who have already expressed an interest in you or the product or services that you sell. So what do you do now? Well, you continue to help them. You might send them one email a week. 
and provide as much information and knowledge to them in a practical, helpful way that genuinely helps your ideal audience. You want to show them that you care about them and that you can help them. And all you want to do is put a simple sentence at the bottom of your email and say, listen, if you'd like to work with me on a more personal level, then this is how you do that. You don't have to sell. You don't have to push your customers. You're just offering an extension of what you're already doing for them. And that's it. Through serving your target audience through generosity, you no longer have to sell. Running your business will not only become a joy, but you'll also start to bring in more income. And that's going to mean that you can increase the influence that you have on the world. And I don't know about you, but I like the idea of being able to do that.